Hi, welcome to my studio. And it's just so good to have you here. And I just want you to make yourself at home, get comfortable, sit in a chair, grab, grab a glass of wine or a cup of coffee and sit down and just enjoy the tour I have here. We're starting right here at my easel. My best, I love this painting a whole lot. That's why I have it here. It's a 30 by 30. This is typical of what I do after my travels in Europe. I do my big studio pieces from that. And we've been to Lake Como probably well, three times because it's just one of my favorite places in Bellagio in particular. But uh, in, in uh, Villa, you see that they have the Grand Hotel there. And this is really filmed. I got the ideas from the Sir Bologna Grand Hotel in Bellagio, which is beautiful property. And my little thumbnail sketch, this is just to see a little bit of the process. I do a lot of thumbnail sketches and this is just a preliminary so I kind of know where I'm going. That was a habit I got in doing watercolors. And here we have some still life, some florals that I'm actually still working on and actually paintings are never done. Actually, they're never done until I find a home in someone's house, but anyway. So uh, this and then this, little pile of my sketches. These are ske sketches that I travel with and bring home. I'll do 40 to 60 panels on location in Europe and France or Italy or whatever, and then bring them home. And I do these little sketches is what I get, is the soil I grow my big paintings from. So I have all these yet to do and, and, I, and I finish them also. These are probably 80% done all this right here. This is in Prague, both of these. And this was in Venice. And anyway, when these get done, they'll become available as well. And, um, and I'll post them on my webpage. So come and see the new part of my studio. This used to be a bedroom and we opened it up, took the carpeting out. And so this would be for my watercolors. So I don't have anything on the wall yet and I don't have anything in this show of watercolors because they're just not framed yet. So, but they're gonna be all on, on the webpage. So you'll see a lot of the watercolors there. Anyway, we're excited about that. And now come on over here. This is a painting, 20 by 30, love it. This is, this is in my neck of the woods here. This is Tennessee in the fall, and um, I just love painting it. It's just so typical of the rural scenes around here in, in, in Alabama, Huntsville, and Tennessee. And we were just taking a little country ride, and this is from a lot of photographs that I took in that area. But I love the fall colors. Anyway, that's, I love it. So I did a couple of little five by seven sketches I've got here. And then these two guys, this is Cambria in California. I love that, well, I did some workshops in Cambria there. And down here we have Vernassa, which is in Cinque Terre. And our hotel room was right here. And we could wake up in the morning and, and hear the boats coming in and out. We had the water tide coming in and out and all the activity in the restaurants. and. I must have sat on this walkway and painted probably just every day we were there. It was just, it was just, just pick up your brush of the painting paints itself. It was so beautiful. And so, yes. Yeah. So now I'm over here. I've got a couple of sketches. This was done for a class I had here locally. This was um, a little, in our little backyard here in Hampton Cove, or the lake right here. And then this is Monhegan Island, which is in Maine, artist paradise. And now I want you to just see the whole studio and why we moved here <laughs> is the beauty of well, the view that we have up here. It's just absolutely incredible. We just love it. And then these, these guys here are um, outdoor sketches as well. This is Portofino. And this was in Vienna, which was last year we went on a cruise, a Danube cruise. And then this right here is Amboise, France, which is the castle country in France. And I just love the lead in with the tower and everything and the foliage. And then down here we have Amalfi. And this place was amazing. And I, I ended up, it was really hot that day. So we ended up having lunch in a cafe across the street. I asked the restaurant owner if we could sit there and paint, if I could sit and paint. And he says, well, sure. So I just spent the rest of the afternoon painting in the restaurant right there. It's perfect because we could order our coffee and paint and eat gelato. Donnie could have his gelato and I could paint. And anyway, it was a lot of fun sitting there. And here we have Venice. 
the beautiful Venice, the city I love, just love there, been there many times. I hear the gondoliers singing in their baritone in the, in the canals, and here's some of my, some still life, hollyhocks, and then here's some poppies and daisies. I love painting florals, it sort of gets me out of the architecture thing, so it's nice to have a variety of subject matter going from architecture to floral. So I just love the freedom the florals have, but I love architecture as well. And this is Paris. Love Paris. And then this right here is a country country farmhouse. Could be anywhere. <laughs> Could be in your backyard. And this is France, a little French village. You can tell by the, the roofs and a lot of the architects, you can tell what country it is. And this is my favorite Americana painting. It's uh in, actually take it a little bit of Maine, a little bit of California. And uh, <laughs> so, anyway, this, I love this. And it's just the light. It's all about the light. Beauty is about the light. And that's what I love to bring to you, is just the beauty, just to show you the natural and making it supernatural. So I just, I love that about the places like this. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. There's a lot more online, so please go on my webpage. Please contact me if you have any questions, any, any conversation you want to have about any of these paintings. And I thank you for joining me.